Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take another problem from functional equations. Previously, we solved one of those. We showed how to replace the variable that we have in the function with some other variables to solve the problem. If you are interested in that particular problem that we solved previously, please find that in the description of this video. For this particular problem that we are trying to solve here, we have f of x minus y to the power of 2 is equal to f of x to the power of 2 minus 2x f of y plus y to the power of 2. We are going to find all functions that we can have from real number to real number to satisfy the equation that you are seeing here. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. We will see you in about 15 seconds. Meanwhile, please consider subscribing to this channel and we will see you in a bit. Before talking about the solution, let's review a book that is very related to what we are doing here. Functional equations, a problem solving approach, can be considered as one of the main books that you can find to talk about different problems that we can have from different math competitions and Olympiads related to functional equations. If you are interested, make sure that you find this book and try to solve the problems that it has. With that, let's start to talk about the problem. Remember, we had f of x minus y to the power of 2 is equal to f of x to the power of 2 minus 2x f of y plus y to the power of 2. Let's rename or let's call this equation that we have here as equation number 1. When we have problems like this, we are going to replace the variables that we have with a value or another variable. Here we have two variables, x and y. Let's replace y with 0 to just have x. It's going to simplify our life. If we do this, then we are going to end up with f of x squared is equal to f of x to the power of 2 minus 2x f of 0. Here we only have f of x and f of x squared and we have the constant function that we have here f of 0. Let's call the equation that we just found as equation number 2. The next trivial approach that we can take is to replace x with 0 and try to find what we can get out of the equation that we have here. In the equation number one, if we replace x with zero, then we are going to end up with a new equation. We will have f of y squared is equal to f of zero to the power of two plus 
y squared. Let's call this equation as equation number 3. Now we have three equations. The next thing that we are going to do is to try to find some functions from these equations. The most trivial approach is going to be putting zero, let's say in equation two. If we do this, then f of zero is going to be f of zero to the power of two minus zero. It leads to f of zero is equal to f of zero to the power of two. Remember, we can do the same thing, but instead of using equation number two, we can use equation number three. We are going to end up with the same f of zero is equal to f of zero to the power of two. If f of zero is equal to f of zero to the power of two, then f of zero can be zero or one. We are going to use it for the rest of this video. So what we've done here, we use x is equal to zero, we use y is equal to zero, and now I'm going to use x is equal to y. If we do this in equation number one, we are going to use f of zero is equal to f of x to the power of two minus two times x f of x plus x squared. Now this is very interesting. On the left hand side we have f of 0, but on the right hand side we can simplify the equation and write it as power of 2 of f of x minus x. We are going to use f of 0 that we found before in combination with the equation that we just found to solve the problem. Now let's focus on that. We have two cases. If f of 0 is 0, then f of x is going to be x here. On the other hand, if f of 0 is 1, then we can have two cases. We can have f of x is x plus 1 or f of x is x minus 1. Obviously, the last thing that we need to do is to verify everything is right. We are going to have three cases. Case number one, f of x is x. So let's start with equation number one that we had. It shows f of x minus y to the power of two is f of x to the power of two minus two x f of y plus y squared. Since f of x is equal to x, we are going to focus on the left hand side for now. We are going to write f of x minus y to the power of 2 as x minus y to the power of 2. Then we are going to simplify it and write it as x squared plus y squared minus 2 times xy. Now we need to prove that the equation that we just found or the expression that we just found is exactly the one that we have on the right hand side. To do this, we are going to simplify what we have on the right hand side. We are going to use x for f of x. We are going to use y for f of y and we are going to replace anything that we have with their values. So the right hand side is going to be x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. You can verify that both sides are equal. So case number one is acceptable. Now case number two. f of x is x plus one. We are going to take the same approach. But this time, it's going to be a little trickier. For the left hand side, we are going to write f of x minus y to the power of 2 as x minus y to the power of 2 plus 1. And if we simplify it, we will have x squared plus y squared minus 2 times x y plus 1. For the right hand side, we are going to write f of x as 
x plus 1 and then we need to take power of 2 of these so we are going to end up with x plus 1 to the power of 2 then we will have 2 times x times f of y and we are going to use y plus 1 for that and the last thing that we have is y squared if you simplify everything we are going to see we can remove 2x and minus 2x and then both sides are equal so case 2 is also acceptable now let's focus on the last case or case 3 here we have f of x as x minus 1 if we do the same approach for the left hand side we are going to end up with x squared plus y squared minus 2 times xy minus 1 if we use the same approach for the right hand side we are going to end up with almost everything but instead of minus 1 we are going to have plus 1 at the end this case is not acceptable so f of x can be x or x plus 1 and that concludes our answers thanks for watching the video if you would like to see more puzzles math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please kindly subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. I hope to see you in the next video.